All right, so thank you everybody so much for joining us today. My name is Katie Rowe Mitchell, and for those of you that don't know me, I see some new names here um, on our participant list. I'm the co-founder of Unfold Yoga and Wellness, and Unfold specializes in bringing yoga, meditation, and mindfulness practices directly to people at work. So everything that we do today is going to be appropriate to do in your office. You don't have to change your clothes. You don't need any fancy equipment. Um, and this is going to be about a 20 minute class. So really short and quick, hopefully easy for you to weave into your day. So today uh, is the fourth week of our March series of a program that we are calling Unfold Digital. So Unfold Digital, um, basically it's going to be a series, a monthly series of 20 minute yoga classes or meditation classes every single week online and they're live. So they're not pre-recorded, they're live, you're here with us, you can ask us questions, we can interact. Um, and they've been really, really fun. We've been getting um, some really good feedback from our clients. So hopefully this is valuable to you. And each week we are going to focus on a little bit of a different topic. So you'll be able to get some different tips and tricks for different um, concerns in the body and different concerns in the mind. So today we are talking about desk and chair yoga for core stability. Um, we talk a lot about the health of our spine in our classes. We talk a lot about um, creating and maintaining healthy posture in our classes. So we're gonna hit on some of those notes today. So you're gonna do some yoga poses that make you more aware of your core. Um, and just very briefly, I wanna explain when we talk about our core, we're not just talking about the front of our belly, the, the six pack abs. We're talking about a whole system. So the front of the belly, the sides of the waist, and then also the muscles along the back and also in the hips. So we're gonna work on strengthening and bringing more attention to the, the core, stabilizers, core stabilizers of the body through our yoga practice. And then we'll also do some work on breathing because your breath, your ability to take a deep, full, complete breath is a core stabilizer in and of itself. So we're gonna put all those pieces together today with our practice. Um, so if you guys have any questions about core stability or any of the any questions about the yoga poses that we do, um, feel free to type them in and then I will take about five minutes after our class and we'll take some time to answer questions. So please, 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 we love talking about this stuff. Don't be shy, your questions are welcomed. Um, so for our class today, you really only need uh, a chair. Um, if you have a desk, like my setup here, if you're in a, a conference table or in a cube, a desk will work as well. You just need a surface to basically rest your hands on and you can use the back of the chair for that. Um, we'll also do a couple of seated poses. So you do need a chair. All right, and with that, we'll get started. Okay, so walk over to my desk here. So start in a seat. And if you guys joined me two weeks ago for our desk and chair yoga class on lower back pain, we're going to revisit some of those same principles. They're really important and um, low back health certainly uh, supports um, some of those, those ideas about creating core stability. So come to, the, come to the sort of the edge of your seat. Don't sit all the way back. Come a little bit more forward so that you've got some room to move the pelvis and move the spine. Bring your hands to your lap and close your eyes. And take two or three deep, full breaths. Right, and we're just drawing the attention inward here. Really do your best to let go of any distractions, let go of any things on your to-do list. You've carved out the next 20 minutes or so to be here to take care of your body and to do something really great for your mind. So commit to that. And from here, keep your eyes closed and let's just start to deepen the breath a little bit. So if it's comfortable for you to move the breath in and out of your nose, you can do that. If you're congested in any way, breathing in and out of the mouth is absolutely fine. And it might be helpful for you to bring a hand to the lower belly. And we wanna to start to feel the gentle rise and fall of the abdomen as you breathe. Remember I said that your breath is a core stabilizer in and of itself. So as we move through the practice today, we want to keep the breath deep, keep the breath smooth and full. So begin to lengthen the breath a little bit, and I'd like you to make your breathing just a little bit deeper and a little bit longer than what your average breath would be. 
So you don't need to strain or force it, but just a little bit longer and a little bit deeper. And try to feel that hand that's resting on your belly move with the breath a little bit. Take three more breaths here. And we're going to start to work on the exhalation today, bring a little bit more attention to the exhalation. So each time you exhale, I'd like you to engage your abdomen so you draw the navel towards the spine. You feel a little tone through the front of the belly. And then as you inhale, let that go and feel the belly expand back into the hands. And do that a couple more times. As you exhale, you'll engage the belly, draw the navel towards the spine, bring a little tone to the front of the abdomen. And as you inhale, you let that go. And the abdomen relaxes back out into the hand. So do that a couple more times. And what we're doing is we're bringing that attention to the exhalation. And each time you exhale, you're using your belly muscles, the muscles in the front of the abdomen to help move that air out completely. Do one more. All right, and then pause and open up your eyes. You can release the hand and then we'll incorporate that exact same breathing into our pelvic tilt. Okay, so bring both of the hands right onto the hips. I'm gonna stay sideways so that you can see my pelvis moving. Start with a big breath in. And as you exhale, draw the navel towards the spine and rock back into your chair. Okay. Then inhale, rock back forward. You'll tip your pelvis forward. And exhale, rock back. Really tone the belly. And then let's do that a couple more times. So you're starting to feel some movement in the pelvis. You're starting to feel some movement in the lower back. And you're starting to feel that strong engagement of the abdominal muscles as you exhale. Let's do one more. Good. All right, let's pause in the center, come into a nice neutral spine, and then we'll do a little dynamic movement to warm up the shoulders. So let the arms rest. Begin with the inhalation and squeeze your shoulders all the way up towards the ears as tightly as you can. And then as you exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back and down. We'll do that again. Inhale, big breath in with Shoulders lift and exhale, squeeze the shoulders back and down. Okay, so keep going. Do a few more of these at your own pace. So it's the same thing. We're using that exhalation to engage the muscles. This time, instead of the muscles in the front of the abdomen, we're engaging the muscles between the shoulder blades, so the upper back. Do one more. Inhale, the shoulders squeeze up and exhale, squeeze them back and down. Do you see how you can use your breath, relax the shoulders as a tool to help you feel those core stabilizers engage? All right, now let's bring the arms straight up in space, interlace the hands behind the head, and we'll just lean back for a few breaths. So I think this is a good thing to do throughout your day, kind of combat that slouching position. And we're stretching some of the muscles in the front of the chest. This is called our seated cow pose. So take two more breaths here, very energizing, right? and then inhale, come on back to center and release. Okay. All right, now we're gonna add some rotation to the spine. And I want you to really focus on using your abdominal muscles on the exhale as we twist. So as we start to incorporate twisting into the spine and into the body, we can get into the core with a lot more awareness if we focus on that exhalation. All right, so follow along with me. Inhale, reach your arms straight up in space, big breath in. And exhale, twist to your right and make a little cactus shape with your arms and really draw the navel towards the spine and also squeeze the muscles in the upper back. We're putting those two together. All right, then inhale, come back up to center and go the other way. Tone your belly, squeeze the muscles between the shoulder blades. Keep going. Inhale up and exhale. Squeeze. Couple more. Go at your own pace here. You can go slower or faster than I'm going if you like. But the important thing for today, so many things to think about, but for today, really think about using that exhalation as your tool to engage the abdominal muscles and engage the muscles of the upper back in the twist. Okay? Do one more in each direction. You should be feeling those muscles really work. They should feel really engaged. And strong. Last one. Okay, let's bring it up to the center and release. Excellent. 
So you guys have done those types of yoga poses if you've done desk and chair yoga class with us so many times, but just by bringing a little bit of awareness to the breath in a different way, we can start to really feel things quite differently. All right, next we're going to do seated boat pose. So come to the edge of your seat once again, sit up nice and tall, okay? And I'd like you to revisit that pelvic tilt. So bring the fingertips to the pelvis here, rock your pelvis backwards, and then tip your pelvis forwards. And do that one more time. And then from here, find a neutral place. So not too tipped forward, not too tipped backwards. Right in the middle, the chest is lifted. All right, without letting your pelvis rock back, don't let it rock back, start to hover your right foot. Okay, and then maybe start to straighten that right leg. You should feel the front of the quads and the hip flexors. So the hip flexors are part of the core as well. Option, maybe reach up those arms and then maybe look up. Keep your belly strong, keep the chest lifted, last breath. Okay, and then release and switch. Rock the pelvis back. Rock the pelvis forward, find neutral, engage your belly, hover the left leg. Okay, option to stay here if you're feeling the belly work, stay with it. Maybe straighten out the leg and maybe reach up your arms. Maybe look up, keep your belly strong, keep lifting up, engage those hip flexors right in the front of the left hip, last breath. Good, all right, and then look forward and release. All right, both legs together. This is harder than it looks, harder than it looks. All right, so for this guy, we're gonna wanna rock back a little bit, squeeze your legs together, right? And then maybe lift up the toes. Okay, so this is option one. Option two, keep that belly really, really strong and stretch the arms forward. Keep rolling the shoulders back and lift up through the chest. All right, and then you guessed it. If you want, you can start to maybe practice straightening up those legs, really, really difficult. They don't have to get all the way straight. But this is boat pose, seated boat. One more breath. Good. And then release and lower the arms. Give yourself a little shake. Whew, that's a lot harder than it looks. Okay, take a couple of resting breaths. Just close your eyes. You might notice a little bit of heat in the body, which is a sign that you're working those deep stabilizing muscles of the core. And open up the eyes. Good. Okay, so we just did a lot of work and engagement. Go ahead and come to a standing position in the front of the hips. So now it's nice to stretch those guys out a little bit. So bring your chair, either move your chair out of the way, or you can push your chair all the way in like I'm doing here, either one. And we're gonna start with a lunge to open up the front of the hips, and then we're gonna add a twist to the lunge to get back into those, um, into engaging the front of the, the belly muscles, all right? So from here, let's start, step your right foot back, and just come onto the ball mound of your back foot and bend into your left knee, all right? Lunge, engage your belly and straighten your back leg. So try not to bend that back leg, keep it really strong and straight and you should start to feel a stretch in the front of your right hip. So we're stretching those hip flexors that we just worked on strengthening. Okay, option to stay here or take your arms up, big breath in. All right, now bring your arms back into that cactus shape. So squeeze your upper back muscles together, good. Now with your next exhalation, twist your chest to the left. And it doesn't need to be a lot. We're gonna pause here for four breaths. Each time you inhale, imagine the crown of the head reaching up. And each time you exhale, squeeze the muscles of that back leg really strong and straight. Engage your belly muscles and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take one more breath here. You can challenge the balance by gazing over that back elbow. Okay, inhale up to center. And touch down to the chair and step forward. And we'll do the second side. Big step back with your left foot. Stay on the ball mound of your left leg. You can work on straightening this leg as best you can. So you should be feeling a stretch in the front of your left hip. Bend into your right knee. Keep the belly strong. Okay. You can stay here. Or bring the arms straight up. Big breath in. And exhale into a cactus shape with the arms. Okay. So same thing on this side. As you inhale, get really tall through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, rotate your chest to the right as much as you can comfortably without moving the hips. Inhale, get tall and lifted through the crown. Exhale, squeeze your back leg really straight, engage the belly muscles and squeeze those shoulder blades together. So the front of the belly and the upper back is really working. 
Okay, inhale, come on back up to center. And exhale, touch down to the chair and step forward. Good, and shake it out a little bit. Okay, come into mountain pose. Feet underneath your hips, toes point forward. Let your shoulders relax and open up the palms to face forward. Close your eyes. And take two or three deep, full breaths. All right, open up your eyes. Now we're gonna get into the sides of the waist. So these are important to hold and stabilize the core as well. So we're gonna do a variation of one of my favorite office yoga poses, desk side angle. Okay, so start by facing the chair. Let's step the left leg back first, all right? Pivot your back foot a little bit, bend into the front knee and the back leg is straight. And I'm gonna open up my hips to the left a little bit, okay? My right forearm, goes onto the back of the chair or onto your desk. Either is fine. Lift the left arm straight up, big breath in. Now bring that left hand right behind your head. Press your head back a little bit. So right away, I'm feeling a nice long feeling across the left of my side waist, okay? Now keep your belly strong. Revisit that exhalation as a way to squeeze the belly muscles in towards the spine. And then if you'd like to bump it up a little bit, you can try hovering this right hand and maybe bringing the right hand right behind the head as well. So a lot of active work happening going on through the side of the waist. Keep lifting up the chest. Take one more deep full breath. Good. All right, inhale, take it up. Touch down and step forward. And then we'll do the second side. I'll do it the other way so you can see the back part of the pose. Step your right foot back, plant it onto the floor, bend into the left knee. So same shape, I'm gonna open up my hips to the right. Left forearm goes either onto the back of the chair or onto your table, either is fine. Inhale, lift up that right arm. And for today, we'll do this hand variation. So press the hand back, lift up through the chest so you're nice and long through the spine. Okay, so I'm feeling a nice stretch through the whole right side of the waist. And I'm also engaging those muscles. And then you can bump it up a little bit if you want. Maybe try taking the left hand behind the head. Keep pressing the head back, lifting up through the chest. Keep that back leg really strong. One more breath. All right, inhale, lift up through the chest. Bring the fingertips back onto the chair or the desk and step forward. And let's rest in mountain pose. All right, so open up the palms, relax the shoulders, close your eyes, take two breaths. All right, eyes open, got a couple more poses. So like I mentioned, we wanna make sure that the hips are really strong. The hips, the glutes, those are all an active part of keeping a strong core. So we're gonna work on a dynamic chair pose. I'm gonna face this way so that you guys can see me. You want enough room out in front of your arms so that you can move your arms forward and up without hitting your table or chair. Feet are hips distance apart, point the toes forward. All right, and we're gonna move with the breath here. So as you inhale, reach the arms up and send your hips back like you're sitting into an imaginary chair. And as you exhale, straighten the legs and let's lower the arms back down into mountain pose. So that's it. I'm gonna do this a few more times. Move at your own pace, right? And what I'd like you to do is really focus on that exhalation, right? So the inhale creates length through the spine, through the arms. And as you exhale, you squeeze your belly, you squeeze the glutes. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. All right, take a seat. Sit up nice and tall. You can sit all the way back into the chair. Feet flat on the floor and rest your hands comfortably in the lap and close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. Keep the breath slightly longer and slightly deeper than your average breath. And just notice, notice how the body is feeling. I know I feel a little out of breath. I feel a little bit warm from doing those postures. 
Notice if any of the muscles of the core, the front of the abdomen, the sides of the waist, the muscles along the spine, and even your glutes and your hips feel a little bit stronger, a little bit more activated. And then let's take a few more of those deep, full belly breaths with an emphasis on the exhalation, drawing the navel towards the spine. You can bring the hand to the low belly if that's helpful for you. Big breath in, feel the belly expand. And each time you exhale, draw the navel towards the spine and engage the muscles around the spine. Two more breaths like that. Let's release the hands, open up the eyes. Let's just end with a little neck roll. So sometimes when we work on that stability, we can almost create a little bit of, of healthy tension or rigidity in the body as a result of working our muscles and engaging them so much. So just try to let go of any of that unnecessary tension. Okay, and pause in the middle with the chin down towards the chest. Let's take those hands right behind the head one last time. Lean back a little bit, look up, come into that big stretch through the front of the body, our seated cow pose. Take two big breaths here, We're extending the spine. This is an energizing, uplifting position for the body and the mind. Getting you ready for the rest of the day. One more breath. All right, and come on back to center. Excellent. All right, well, thank you for joining us for the desk and chair yoga class on core stability. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you're feeling a little warm. I know that I am. So I would love to hear from you. Go ahead and type in the question box below if you guys have any comments or if you have any questions about how those poses felt. Um, working in this way and taking this, this stabilizing approach to your yoga practice, be it your yoga practice at your office, using your desk, using your chair, or even, um, you know, your regular yoga practice on a mat can have a really, really big effect in how you feel in these poses. So sometimes, you know, we just want to relax and sort of stretch and sort of fall into these poses. It feels really good. And then sometimes it's really appropriate for us to do the opposite, really integrate and engage and support ourselves. And depending on, on what's going on in your body or maybe what's going on in your life, you know, we might need different things. So it's good to be able to have different approaches to these, to these yoga postures. We can have a lot of different ways that we approach what we're doing and why. So the same pose can serve a variety of different needs.